Professional cricket is coming to Grand Prairie. On Wednesday, the city announced plans to convert the vacant Air Hogs baseball stadium into a venue for Major League Cricket. The first step is a long-term lease for the stadium, which the city has approved for MLC. Next, during 2021, there will be extensive renovations to add seating and reconfigure the stadium from a diamond to an oval. Then, in early 2022, the new league will launch with franchises in six major U.S. cities, with the Dallas team playing at the revamped stadium. During a Zoom conference, league officials said they chose Grand Prairie because of the city's central location and the growing popularity of cricket in Texas. There's already millions of uh, cricket fans in this country, you know, between 15 and 20 million. There's hundreds of thousands of cricket players uh, around the country. I think almost 50 local teams in the Dallas uh, Grand Prairie area. Uh, so those roots are already all there. This is now just bringing this to them, bringing this closer to them. Cricket is enjoyed by billions of fans around the world, so the stadium deal could bring the city international exposure as well as economic benefits. We will have a following when international teams come to Grand Prix. We feel like people will drive from all around to see an international team. We will have 8,000 guests out there in the city of Grand Prix. That's going to mean more heads and beds, as we like to say, for our hotels. That's going to mean people needing to eat and frequenting our restaurants. You can find more information about the Cricket Stadium by visiting the city's website at gptx.org. Grand Prairie boxing star Virgil Ortiz Jr. is giving a little something back to his hometown. Since he turned pro four years ago, the welterweight phenom is undefeated, winning all 16 fights by knockout. Wednesday, Ortiz dropped by City Hall to donate a pair of boxing gloves to the historical museum. Kathy is going to put these in the, in the museum for decades to come. Uh, young and old can see about your accomplishments and learn more about you. What was your reaction when they asked you, we need a pair of your gloves for the museum? <laughs> uh, that's awesome, you know, uh, just to be a part of Grand Prairie history, you know, it's an honor in itself. And for them to ask for a pair of gloves, you know, that's, uh, it, it means something to me. It, mean, it means a lot. Ortiz says he's not sure who he's going to fight next, but is eager to take his skills to the next level. The Grand Prairie Libraries have introduced a new service that offers customers of all ages access to a dozen brand new tablet computers, now available for free checkout at two of their locations. The only requirement is a Grand Prairie Library card. We are thrilled to offer these new tablet stations at our libraries. Now the tablets are ideal for surfing the web, looking at social media, or watching videos. There are two tablet stations, one at Maine and one at the Betty Warmack Library. They both have six tablets on them. The great thing is this allows people to use the internet but in safe social distancing environments all over the library, not just at our tables where we have our established PCs. So you can go into a study room, one of our sitting areas, Areas and use them anywhere in the building. Syme says each one of the tablets is equipped with several popular software applications and programmed to adjust accordingly depending on whether it's being used by a child or an adult. A parent can check out one for their kids, but kids cannot check out an adult level tablet. They check out for two hours, and once you bring the tablet back to the station and put it in place, it wipes that tablet clear, all your logins and passwords to any of your accounts are gone, and it resets to its regular setting before the next person uses it. For more information about the new tablet service or any Grand Prairie Library program, please visit gptx.org library.